oh God, we beg of you in your holiest name that you give us the strength, you give us salvation. They're praying to beat the odds. New Jersey's care homes are a dangerous place to be. 29 people, a third of residents, have died in this one over the last three weeks, and many of those still alive are now sick. The home closed ranks and shut the relatives out. Nobody told us. They basically, I heard it on the news, and no one in the office is answering our questions. Nobody's giving us any details. Nobody's telling us anything. So we're all kind of sitting ducks waiting to see if someone's going to tell us that our family member passed away or if we're going to get a call the next day. We really don't know. Dear Selena Benitez was a resident of Elizabeth Nursing Home. This was her in January, 78 years old and smiling. And this was Dear Selena last week, the last time the family spoke to her. They could see she was struggling to breathe and they asked the nursing home to take her to hospital. She died three days later. We believe that she was sick over a week. We had not been notified. We had uh, an employee who let us know. My aunt, who is over there crying right now, was able to speak to her uh, through a video call. She was not able to breathe. She was, she was having respiratory issues. She was exhibiting all the symptoms. And for some reason, ER was, she was not taken to the ER. This letter was the first official confirmation that coronavirus was in the nursing home. It arrived after dear Selena had died. I ache for those relatives. I hurt for those relatives for the simple reason is they get a letter from the nursing home telling them what's going on. That is not the way the administrator of this nursing home should deal with the families who were dealing with all of this anguish. We wrote to the nursing home asking them for a statement. They didn't reply, so we phoned them. You have reached Elizabeth Nursing and Rehab Center. Please hold a moment. Thank you for calling Elizabeth Nursing Home. May I direct your call? Good afternoon. I'm a journalist from Sky News. We've been told by relatives of people in your home that people have been dying and they haven't been kept informed. I was just wondering whether or not you had anything to say about that. Um, I... This is not a unique situation to Elizabeth Nursing. Unfortunately, many nursing homes in New Jersey are in the, under the same situation, and we're working with the Department of Health and local health agencies to comply with the department. So right now, our main focus is caring for the residents. There are now daily protests outside the home, and the Attorney General has been asked to investigate. And too much neglect has happened at this facility. An hour north, at another care home in New Jersey, the police received an anonymous tip-off telling them that the dead were being put in a shed. They found 17 bodies crammed into a small morgue on site. It is a desperate situation. The elderly, already frail, are at the mercy of a system that is failing them. They are dying in the very homes where their families thought that they would be safe. Alistair Buckle, Sky News in New Jersey.